Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have so many empties to share with you. Um, I have been hoarding my empties for a little while. I can't remember the last time I did an empties video. Um, or even like my Pam that palette thing. I kind of like just really dropped the ball. And this probably isn't everything, but it's everything that I had remembered to like save in my little basket. So we'll just get into it because there's so much I need to recycle all of this stuff. So the first thing is this Sonoma Spa Bubble Bath. This is in the... Joss, Japanese, Jossum, Japanese cherry blossom scent. This actually was really nice. I think you can get this at Walmart. This was, I can't even, it's so big. I can't even get it in the camera here. It's 64 fluid ounces. Um, so yeah, um, this was really nice. I can't remember how much it is at Walmart. Someone gave this to me. Um, they just didn't need it. So it suds up. I have a tiny bit in there. I guess I could try. I like tried to fill it with water and pour bubbles out and stuff. Um, so I could try to get a little bit more out of there, but, um, yeah, this stuff was really nice. It suds up really nice, and, oh, my dogs and my cat is in here. Get out of here, you. Um, so it was really nice. Let's see, I have, there's just so much stuff. This is the Up and Up brand of the Epsom salt, which is regular magnesium sulfate. Um, I really, really love Epsom salt. If you have sore and achy muscles, this stuff is the way to go. It like if you have tired, achy feet, if you've been on your feet all day, get some nice Epsom salt. You can get it at the Dollar Tree. I usually do get it at the Dollar Tree. This again was just given to me, and so I wanted to use that up. I think I have another one somewhere. I'm gonna go check. Okay, I can't find it. I'm sure it's buried in here somewhere. Um, I just have stuff everywhere. So I use another one of these Salon Selectives. What is this? The Damage Repair. Um, extreme corrective hair treatment these are so nice you can get them at the dollar tree it's only a dollar it lasts me quite a while um i just really like it it's a nice deep conditioner um i use this strawberry fragrance face mask this is a toning deep cleansing one where was this from i'm not sure this was another the gift it's a beauty junkie um so this was really nice um oh gosh um, I had some of these little bubble or bubble bath bombs. This is the I think they're at Target. They have these. This is the Me Bath Mini Bath Ice Cream Mini Bath Soak. There were two um, gotta have it pomegranate mini bath bombs in there. Um, I really like bath bubble bath things and bath bombs. If you can't tell, um, got lots of like hair care kind of stuff. This is the Garnier Fructis Grow Strong Hair Mask for stronger, healthier, shinier hair. It's a fortifying treatment. As you can see, I used every last drop of it. Um, the stuff was really nice. I just like to use, I don't condition necessarily every day, but I do usually, if I'm going to condition, I like to use a deep conditioner every other day or every third day or something like that instead of just plain old regular conditioner. I feel like my hair is healthier for that. I don't really know if that's true, but... That's what I like to do. This is a Bath and Body Works shower gel in the scent Sweet Summer Kiss. Um, what does this smell like? I don't remember. This is actually pretty nice. It kind of reminds me of like pink lemonade scent, if that makes any sense. Um, the keynotes in this are Blushing Jasmine, Apricot Nectar, and Driftwood Musk. So another really nice one that I got, I'm sure, during the sale. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. Um, a couple of hand soaps. This is the Wild Honey Suckle from Bath & Body Works. This is one of our favorite. I like the gentle foaming hand soaps. This is the Deep Sea Wonders. I think this was like a few summers ago. I got this one during one of their sales. This stuff smells so good if you can get your hands on it. Um, does it have the keynotes? It... Freshwater and sparkling ocean blossom. It smells so amazing, you guys. And actually, this wild honeysuckle is one they have all the time. And it's one that both my husband and I really like. Um, I think I even have another, yep, another wild honeysuckle in here. Because, again, we just really like it. We usually keep it in our guest bathroom or in our bathroom. Um, this is a giant bottle. <laughs> this is the Garnier Fructis Fortifying Conditioner Damage Eraser for Distressed Damaged Hair. It was a ginormous bottle of this stuff. It took a while to get through, but I finally did another conditioner. Oh, I've got a couple of these. It's been a while, I'm telling you. Two of the Aussie Three Minute Miracle Smooth 18 Hour Conditioners. Again, I really like these. They're fairly inexpensive, and again, I don't use them every single day, but every like 
every other or every third day and it's a good deal I think anyways I try to get them when they're on sale and I have a coupon that kind of thing um, I finally used up this little tr this was like a deluxe size sample of the Nexus color assure sulfate free system shampoo weightless oil infused system locks in color vibrancy this was okay again it was just like it either came it was like a sample that came with some shampoo or a free sample of some kind I don't know it was okay not my favorite necessarily um let's see here oh I've got another one of these salon selectives this this one has this is the extreme corrective this is the intense conditioning treatment with argan oil and this one has the, like the black lid on it is this the one that I like better they used to have one that has like a red lid that I really really liked oh it's like thundering and lightning outside um but anyways again e both equally as nice um let's see I'm trying to find all like the hair stuff I think this is another hair item this is a hair item okay um, another little, well, that's a body wash. So this is a little, um, it is thundering and lightning. I'm sure you can hear. This is by Carol's Daughter. And this is the Black Vanilla Moisture and Shine Leave-In Conditioner for dry, dull, and brittle hair. Um, again, this was just, like, I'm not a full size, but they have this at CVS. This one smells pretty good. Um, I just really like to put in, because I don't necessarily condition every day, I'll put, like, a leave-in conditioner, too, on sometimes the days if I just wash my hair or... If it's just feeling really dry or something and that kind of helps I think um okay what else is on there dig the rest out finally getting towards like the end of my basket here um let's see another bath fizzy I use this is the bolero brand that they had at the Dollar Tree somewhat recently this is um, so it's just one big giant bath fizzer this was in the lavender chamomile it smelled pretty good. I don't think that these really fizz a lot. So if you're wanting one that's gonna like actually produce like some fizziness or um, like bubbliness or something, these I don't think really did that, but it did add a nice scent. Um, and it didn't do a lot else as far as like, a lot of bath bombs I think usually will have, like kind of almost make the water oily, like moisturizing I guess I should say. And I don't really feel like that one did necessarily. So. I mean, it was a dollar. Not, I'm not mad about it. This is the Freeman Dead Sea Minerals Anti-Stress Mask. And the thing I don't like about these kind of single package masks, I will say, is that they usually say this is more than one application. But why, oh why? It says it's two to four applications. Unless you have a friend with you and you're, you know, each going to use it at the same time. I mean, I like try to just kind of seal it up and stuff but I mean like you have to like rip the thing open and it never just rips off nice and clean and then you just have this open unless you do the mask the very next day maybe or something but it just this all this little bit of product dried out so I could have gotten definitely one more application but I don't know I liked it it was for clear pores and smooth skin um it was a nice mask, but I just, I get frustrated with that. Like, why not just make it a half the size and make it a single application? I don't get that, but whatever. Um, let's see. I have two actual little, like, body wash things. These are just some, like, I've been going through my, like, travel size or, like, sample things that I've gotten for free in the past. This is an Olay Sensitive Body Wash. It's very nice. Um, I would definitely purchase this, I think. It's nice and creamy. And this is the Herbal Essences Body Wash and Body Burst. This smelled really nice. I don't know if I would purchase it necessarily, but it smelled good. I finally used up this little hand sanitizer. I think there's like one more good squirt in here, but you don't want to get towards the end. You can't like get the product out. This was the Donuts About You, the Pocket Back from Bath & Body Works. I don't really ever buy these, but this one smelled actually really pretty good. I might be able to get this last little bit out, but I can't like squeeze it out anymore. Um, yeah, it, it does smell like alcohol, but not super strong. It actually smelled really well, but I'm glad to get rid of that. It just took me forever. Um, I went through this pack of Huggies, just like baby wipe things. Yeah, Simply Clean baby wipes I got at the Dollar Tree. These are just nice for taking off makeup if you're like making videos or whatever. Um, I also used up 
these makeup removers these are from nice and clean um this was at the dollar tree whenever ago there was 25 in there they were nice i've also used up this package of wipes this is the so fresh so clean these are one of my absolute favorites um, they have them at Big Lots. I haven't seen them a lot of other places, but they're only a dollar at Big Lots and you get 25 wipes and these are some of my absolute favorites. I love them. They're just good quality for a dollar. You get a lot of them. I like them a lot. Um, I went through this Colgate Total 12 Hour Pro Shield Alcohol Free Mouthwash in Spearmint. I don't really like Spearmint, but I don't know if they didn't have another flavor or something like that, but I went through that. We went through this Johnson & Johnson Reach Clean Burst Spearmint Gloss. Really exciting. Um, we went through a little mini Sensodyne Pro Enamel Fresh Breath Toothpaste. My husband really likes the Pro Enamel Sensodyne stuff. Um, I don't really have as sensitive teeth as he does. He has much more sensitive teeth, so he kind of needs that more than I say I do. Um, I finished this. This is just the Dollar Tree brand or what they always have on hand this is the swan brand i guess um it's just nail polish remover strengthening with gelatin for natural nails went through that actually need to get more next time i go to dollar tree finished this morocco orchid and pink amber triple moisture body cream from bath and body works i think i actually took this to work and let the girls use it because i don't go through um like these giant things of uh, lotion that fast so I've been taking them to work and letting them go through it <sighs> oops last three things of that giant thing and they're all makeup related this I didn't actually go through but it's at the end of it's 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 done this is the Sally Hansen triple shine nail polish that I was working on forever and I even had like the lines drawn you can't even see it anymore I was trying to use this entire thing up and it's just I can't revive it anymore it's old and it's just goopy and I've tried I mean you can see it's like goopy so it sucks I love this color it's a favorite of mine it's in the shade pink coconut I don't even know if you can get this anymore to be honest but I did use most of it I think it's actually it's been sitting on the side so you can't tell now but I think it's about this much left and it's just so goopy I can't use it last but not least I used up these two covergirl products so this is their true blend face primer for combo skin I really like this I thought this was very moisturizing it's not um what do I want to say it's not like the baby skin like it's not a silicone base so it's more like a liquidy lotion and kind of texture to it um, but it, it felt really moisturizing. I really liked it. Um, I just, if it's not going to really like conceal pores for you, if that makes sense. So I would recommend like the baby skin pore concealer, um, or another, maybe more silicone based primer for those kind of areas. Um, and then to go along with that is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous, um, fresh complexion oil free foundation. I have the shade 110 in creamy natural. I really, really like this stuff. I've actually repurchased this and I'm on my second bottle of it. I very much like it. It's really nice. Um, it's not, it's medium to full ish cup. It's not really, I mean, you could probably build it up to full, full coverage, but I would say it's a nice kind of medium coverage. Um, it's just a nice kind of natural look. Um, and if you use, I just recently got the real techniques, like fake beauty blender. This actually does it, it may if you do it with a damp sponge it gives you a nice dewy look or you can do it with a dry sponge for a more a little bit of a matte look um i just really like it it's oil free it doesn't clog your pores um suitable for sensitive skin which i have and will last you all day and that i agree now i will say you want to set this with a decent powder though because i i will notice it kind of like move around a little bit if that makes sense like if you don't set it with a powder you can like wipe something on your face and it'll come off. So, I mean, that's hard though, I feel like, to find a true foundation that's not gonna budge the entire day. Unless you know of one, let me know what that is. That's everything. I'm gonna go recycle all of that stuff. Um, I'm so happy to like get rid of it because it's just, it's been a while. It's been sitting in here and it's been building and I need to like move on, if that makes sense. Get all of like clutter out of here. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I'm going to go watch The Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown comes on TV tonight, so hope you do the same. Bye.